Hey everybody and welcome to another Meaning to Live Just Said short therapy video segment. Today we're going to talk about a very confusing topic and that is being a parent. This is not an easy job. So let's break it down and talk about what kids need the most. And when I talk about kids, I'm talking teenagers and children. I'm not talking about your kids over 18. So that said, let's get right into it and start with number one. And that was a weird kind of pause. So number one, realize you can't protect them from making bad decisions. They're going to choose poorly. And when they do, you get to show that you're a safe person and they can approach you even after said bad decisions have been made. As parents, you can reject the behavior and not the child. And we're trying to do consequences and use them as teaching moments, not rejecting moments. It's important that they know that you're there. And you know you don't have to condone the bad behavior. You're still there. Number two, be available for them even when they're completely irrational and, ex un and upset and throwing tantrums and just unstable emotionally. Giving them your attention when they're not being good or when they're not stabilized teaches them that they're okay and that they'll be accepted. They can, they can be a little unstable and they'll still be accepted. Otherwise, they don't have to fake it to be okay, you know, to feel accepted. You know, I don't, I don't want to pretend to be okay when I'm not because I'm afraid that if I don't pretend that I'm okay, you'll reject me. We don't want them to go down that road, you know. So, and as an adult, you get to be the stable one. So, teaching them that you are stable, you know, a lot of the time gives them a place that they can lean on when they're unstable. It's a safe place for them to go. Number three... And this one is around being reactive and we all do it and, and it's about anger. I'll just get right down to it. When you are angry with your kid and I'm talking yelling and screaming, they're not even focused on the behavior that got you yelling and screaming. They're focused on the yelling and screaming. So it does no good. It just does not resolve or repair anything. So really try your hardest not to get, you know, ah, oh, explosive and all that shenanigans so all right i know these things don't come with a, these th these kid things don't come with any kind of instruction manual so just know that you're doing a good job we're all doing our best and we all lose it sometimes well, i i do anyway and that's okay i'm learning you're learning parents are learning we don't know everything and that's okay just it's so it's important just to do the best we can with with what we got you know, if you get angry one night, say, I'm just try better not to get as angry next night. You know, just it's all improvement and progression. So that's it. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, push the subscribe button. If you really want to go crazy, push the little bell notification thingamajig. And if you like or if you've connected with anything that was said today, um, push the like button on there or share it or comment. I will reply and and all will be well. I have more um, therapy good stuff on the website at www.meaningtolive.com. And that's all for today's parenting fun. And until next time, awareness up.